everybody, this is Randy Santel. Alice and I am very, very excited today because I am back in the beautiful, great state of Queensland, which I'm going for overall victory number 1,168. But we are all here in Walloon of Queensland. We've got so many people here. Thank you guys all for being here. Yes. Yeah. We are all here at Fat Boy Smokehouse and Kitchen. I'm hoping to become the third person to dominate their Monster Burger Challenge. Now, I did not really do my homework much on this. I just had so many people tell me that I need to try it, that I thought I was eating a burger because they call them chicken burgers. They call this a burger, which a burger to an American has a hamburger patty at least, but this is what we would call a sandwich or what also they would call here in Australia a sangha. It's a three and a half kilogram burger or sandwich, but either way, there is a full kilogram of their very juicy pulled pork. On top of that, there's a whole bunch of their smoked beef brisket, full kilogram. I'm excited for that. There's a fair whack of bacon. I would say there was at least 500 grams. Then also there is a whole bunch of American cheese, and then there are four over easy eggs. So this all came out to 3.4 kilos. Didn't want to call it a 3.5 with it not being 3.5. So I had them at about 100 grams of their coleslaw, which looks freaking amazing. And then it is all on a 30 centimeter bun, which was freshly baked by a local bakery. This is all optional, of course. This is not soup. This is a massive bowl of their homemade maple barbecue sauce. I've got 45 minutes to finish everything here. If I fail, it's gonna be 100 Australian dollars. But if I do win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet Fat Boys t-shirt to add to my collection. I will get $100 Australian cash uh, to use towards travel expenses. And then I will also be the third person with a name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, great to be here in Walloon. Let's dominate. Big thank you to the owners of Fat Boys. We've got Luke and then his wife, Lorianne. 15 people have tried right around there. Only two winners. Uh, both are my friends. We've got James Webb. And then uh, after him, we've got Vince that I did a challenge with down in the Melbourne area. Both of them finished in under 13 minutes, which is insane. So lower your expectations. We're just trying to finish in the 45 minutes. But uh, yeah, let's do it. One, two, three. All right, I am gonna eat a lot of the bacon and brisket first and then try to eat this as a sangha. It's like Cool Runnings, instead of sangha, it's sangha. This brisket is halal and it is juicy. I'm very thankful there's no sides included with this challenge. We are two minutes in. It's nothing I'm gonna do, but this all is very juicy, so I do understand how James and Vince both did this in under 13 minutes. Still wild though, this is so much food. Five minutes, 25 seconds in. We've got 45. It's on the thicker side, I would say, but this maple frickin' barbecue sauce is delicious. He's got well over a kilo down. He's doing great. Let's go, Randy. <laughs> healthy veggies and healthy pulled pork to go. And? Sesame seed bun. Mm, that is 600 grams total, so over a pound, but we're gonna get it. All right, 
last egg. Then we're done with all the uh, four eggs. Speaking of that, I have a whole Sangha left. Uh, we're 13 minutes in, which means James and Vince had already finished by now. Uh, so I'm now going for the number three time, but uh, a finisher nonetheless. So let's use Excalibur and then uh, get this cut into half, and then we will eat this as a sangha. I really did come here all this way thinking I was eating a big burger topped with some pulled pork, though. I was wrong. It is beef brisket along with pulled pork. We've got half of a sangha. Why can't you say it right? <laughs> you say it and then I'll echo you. Sangha. Sangha, yeah. yeah. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> sangha. Thankfully, we got 45 minutes. I still have 30 minutes to finish. You know, the funny thing is, is I've eaten a lot of food, but this is still a challenge on its own. I love you. I love you too, you got it. Mm. All right, small bites, chase it with soda. We got this. 17, 15 in. I'm gonna try to do these like five minutes each. Oh, less than that, easy work. <laughs> Three and a half minutes each. Easy. After going to Adelaide, South Australia, now I'm a koala person. I got to hold one and it loved me. Oh, thank you. What you guys are missing out on today, Katina is in a crop top, looking <laughs> fabulous. Halfway through the bun and the pulled pork. I can't do buns just dunked into stuff. 27 minutes, we got it. Whew, 131 minutes, we got this. Not losing again. Thankfully all the ones after this are smaller. Milkshake is very helpful. Oh, no beer chug today because I'm doing a milkshake. <laughs> beer will be after. I've said this many times, three and a half kilos of anything is a lot, but we're gonna get it. Oh, all right. Confidence is at about 97%. That's good confidence. Ugh. What's wild is, is they're thinking about making an even bigger challenge, uh, which is apparently just for uh, James and Vince, because <laughs> you will not see me trying that one. I'm glad I got here to do this before that started. <laughs> I'm 
You guys have liters of beer here? <laughs> You're supposed to say no. <laughs> And then I was gonna say, oh no, well if they don't have liters, I'm just gonna do it later. <laughs> Thankfully they have milkshakes. 38 minutes, 45 seconds in. One eighth of the bun to go. And I do feel bad that I haven't used more of this maple barbecue sauce. It really is pretty good. I just trying to watch my calories. I'm sure there's a bit of sugar and other stuff in it. That's why I had the strawberry fruity milkshake. It is definitely the number three time. I think James might have finished the second one uh, before I got done with the second. But uh, yeah, I finished in a whopping 40 minutes and 57 seconds. I will say there's not too many people in Australia that can beat that thing. I am now the third winner. I cannot say enough how delicious that was. I'm trying to decide if I liked the pulled pork more or the brisket. Uh, I think I'm gonna say the beef brisket. Uh, the juicy pulled pork was still awesome as well. Uh, definitely would love to have a normal sized sandwich or sangha with uh, the pulled pork and some of the coleslaw. But yeah, just delicious monster challenge. Big thank you to Luke and Lorianne, their staff, everybody here with Fat Boy Smokehouse and Kitchen. This place that they have here in Walloon is like two years old. They built it, it is freaking beautiful here. Uh, even if you don't wanna come try one of the challenges, get here for just a normal meal. They've got so much on the menu. They even have live music sometimes here too. It's a great overall experience, well worth the trip. But uh, yes, thankfully I am done eating here. Now it's time to drink and hang out with everybody that came. Uh, for me, it was overall victory number 1,168. I think we've got either three or four more food challenges coming up in the area before we head to Bali, Indonesia. But thank you guys all so much for coming. Ooh. If you liked this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. I know you will like both of those as well, but either way, I'll catch you in the next video. Win before you begin. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah.